what's going on peeps i'm gonna show you some tips and tricks against gold lewis how to beat this matchup i will say this just because i'll just start arguments i think this matchup's in pot's favor i will try to show you why hopefully it makes sense by the end oh and by the way this is on the testament patch so uh if you're in season two or farther in the future some of the stuff might not be accurate i apologize but hopefully this will still help you out so first i'm going to show you all the behemoth typhoons and when you can and can't press buttons First off, I want to note that I'm using 2P on Gold Lewis because that is a plus three button and he can go to all of his behemoth typhoons from it. So all these are demonstrations with 2P. So there are three behemoth typhoons where you cannot press buttons. There's 624, which is this one. Right there, you cannot press buttons. So if I press a button, I will get stuffed in between the jab and the 624. There is 684, same scenario. It is uh, same thing. I cannot click buttons between it. I will get stuffed every time. However, these two options are both negative five. So if you see either of these buttons, this one or this one, it is your turn. You can now play the game. The same thing, 248, you cannot click buttons in between, right? So I click a button, I, I get stuffed like that. However, it doesn't go as far. So if they, they do it from farther range, as you see here, they can't really do it. So if they don't hit you, with, even if they hit you with jab, they might whip it. So they have to be really point blank to get that. And that one is actually plus three. So it's still their turn after it. So after they do this move, you cannot freely grab them. They jab. However, almost every opponent I've ever fought goes to a different option than jab. So I usually get to throw them after that if they do it point blank. If they do jab into this move, it doesn't work so well. But if they just uh, use that raw and they walk up, you usually can grab them afterwards. I, it's a risk, but it works for me a lot. Now, there's two behemoth typhoons that have very odd frame data. So you can actually interrupt both of these. It's two, six, eight. This one right here. This one you can jab in between these two hits, right? This one you can jab in between these two hits, right? However... I can't get the command throw to work. If you guys don't know, command throw and jab are both five frames. I have no idea why. It will say reversal, and I still won't get it. I'm not doing it now, but there, yeah. So it says reversal, but I still don't get the command throw. I'm kind of confused, but jab works. So just know, um, hey, if you're that close, you can jab that one. Then there's 862. So this one's an overhead. This is the overhead one. Um, you can jab in between, you can actually get close slash, you can actually get close slash in between, you can get command throw in between, but you cannot get far slash in between, right? So, that's the scary part. 2P can also be tricky from far range. Up close, easier to hit, which is the cool, th weird part about this. It's kind of like a Soul Calibur hitbox. Tricky, but you still get, but yeah, far slash will not work on this one. So the last three Behemoth Typhoons, you can all just press far slash and you can punish all of them. Pretty great. You can also just do jab if that's what you feel safe with because I've said jab. It's either you get stuffed or you can do jab on all of them, depending on range again. And that's why I'm showing you far slash because they aren't always going to do two, uh, two P to start off the Behemoth Typhoons. So you can punish uh, four, two, six. You can also punish four, two, eight. Here it is right here. Oh, Trey that time. Weird. There we go. And then you can punish eight, four, two. That's the one, yeah, yeah. So yeah, all those ones you just press that button for. So if all that went over your head, I totally get it. All I'm really trying to tell you is that if you have to block, they're minus. If you don't have to block, you can attack in between the string. That's all you really need to know. And what I recommend to use is this or jab, depending on the range. Which brings me to the point, what buttons he has that are minus. So first off, we have far slash. Far slash is minus seven. So if they just do this raw, you can jab it back his pot because your 5P goes pretty far and he stands up tall. Um, however, like I noted, they will be coming most likely with a behemoth typhoon afterwards. So you can probably do that, depending on which option they do. Next is 2S. 2S is very very minus let me look here is negative nine there we go not not very very minus negative nine i had to pull up the frame data it uh so you get close slash if you're close enough uh, i wouldn't recommend it per se well actually because they're going to go into behemoth typhoon maybe you should 
same guessing game. But yeah, this negative 9. The 2D is minus 10. So if they block and do nothing, you can go 2K, 2D as to follow it up, right? Now they will probably Behemoth Typhoon. You can also interrupt their Behemoth Typhoon with 2K. So that is probably good. Same scenario again. If they do the other option, though, you will get stuff slash jailed. It's just no, it's all a guessing game. But yeah, that is minus 10. So if they push, if they do it at the right distance like that, you can't really get a punish, but at least you can take your turn back, you know? So 6H is minus 14, which means that you can punish him for it, but it pushes you really far back, as you see. It pushes you ridiculously far back where you can't really press anything. They're only going to use it at max range, right? So you're going to be this far away where you can't even hit any of your buttons. But it's minus 14, and there's this mechanic called just block. So if you just block it, you can go into sweep, even though it didn't hit right then because I'm bad, or you can go into far slash. See there. And I'm pretty sure you can sweep it. Yeah, I just fucked up the first time. Yeah. So I recommend sweep because then you can get inside, you know, Potemkin's optimal range, which is right here. But either or. The last move that is super punishable, and if you ever block this move, punish it, is 2H. His 2H is minus 15 on block, and it leaves him in crouching state. So what that means is that if you hit him, he will be crouching, as you saw there. So if you're close enough, or not even if you're close enough, you can purple RC anything when you when you punish this button. So I can go into this, into the Gruda combo, because he's forced crouch. He puts himself in forced crouch. So using PRC to get close slash into Gruda, Potemkin Buster, highly recommend. Great punish. Yeah, minus 15, you can pretty much press anything to punish it. Besides that. Okay, this is my favorite Gold Lewis trick. I get so much mileage out of this. You'll love it. So, Gold Lewis likes to put down this bomb thing, right? So, when he does that, he can run behind it and you get pressure. It's like playing Guile and Street Fighter. However, it only hits you if it hits your physical body. So, when he throws this down, you can 6H through it. And you won't get hit until it touches you. But you can special cancel. So, he can run forward. I messed up there. He can run forward, then you make a fist over it. I messed up again, but yeah, still the trade's in your favor. It's pretty great. You get the hit, you get over it. It's great. Also, you can do the same thing with Flick. So they can Flick, and then you're still fine. Well, you get hit, but... Flick might not actually Flick the bomb, but you can Flick Gold Lewis before getting hit. You can do it at a safe distance, but um, 6H is much easier. Also, 6H, if he instantly area dashes instead of just runs forward, your 6H actually goes high enough to catch it. So it kind of covers both things, but he could just jump higher and not instant air dash. But yeah, it's pretty nice. 6H is the one I recommend because the special cancels. But yeah, I love this. It, trust me, this shit, I get so much mileage out of it. No Potemkin does it. So I'm doing this one a little early because I usually show supers at the end, but I love this trick. So on this super from Gold Lewis, you want to super jump last second and then FD it if you want to just block it and you go over Gold Lewis because they always run forward after you start blocking. So it puts the, they usually react really quickly. Like, oh fuck, he went over me. But they don't get a put they don't get put in a position where they're optimal unless like they normally would if you stayed on the ground. So highly recommend you see this super, wait till near the end, jump it. Also, you see the startup of it and you have meter, you can do that. Just a heads up. I get them all the time with this shit. They think they can just call it in, and then I'll just grab them like that. It's not a real punish. I want to note that. It, is, it can be if they do it way too close, but it's not a real punish. But it usually catches them out because they think you're just being stupid. Because that, like, that move doesn't go away if they get hit. So they usually just don't care if you approach. So one thing Gold Lewis's do all the time is that they'll jump dash full screen away. They love to jump. So Kara Heat Knuckle, just like a lot of matchups I mentioned, Kara Heat Knuckle is really good in this matchup. Low recovery, we'll grab him out of the air all the time. If you ever watch me fight a Go Lewis, I'll throw it out a whole bunch and it works a whole bunch. It's great. However, if you're not relying, if you if they're not jumping per, uh, predictably, you want to anti or 6P, right? However, when you do that, they do this and that clashes. I'll show you now. Okay, yeah, when he does this dash, you'll often clash with him like that. So I recommend when you're ever using 6P against Gold Lewis, because there's a lot of clashing, start just pressing P. 
go go into just your you can do 6p twice but he can get a stuff on you because he also can react out of it so i just do 5p because it's fast as shit and all of his uh behemoth typhoons are 12 frame starbs so you'll beat those out too but yeah i'll show you So yeah, not, you know, you can do more optimal, but at that moment, I'm just pressing it to see if it clashes. So I just go into whatever jab combo I can get at the time. So Potemkin loses in two places in the match. At round start and after a game knocked down. Now, round start's really good for Gold Lewis because he beats Potemkin with most options. Um, there's always, like, a way to counter what Pot does. So it's hard for me to tell you there's something right you can do, but I'll show you the popular options Gold Lewis has. One of them is this. He'll do jab into 268 uh, Behemoth Typhoon. Now, the reason they do that is because jab will cover if I try to go in. So if I try to do Kara Temkin Buster, or if I try to press a button back, he'll stuff me. Usually, let me see about 2P. Press 2P. Yeah, I beat him with 2P. Uh, but that's the thing is that that option might work but it won't beat other options so it, it's it's a guessing game and you usually lose it so the safest thing you can do is either backdash or just uh block and don't do anything i usually just block and do nothing because a lot of gold lewis's they will delay their behemoth typhoon to catch your backdash or the behemoth typhoon is just plus enough or has enough active frames to catch your backdash it is very scary so I usually just sit there and block. I let the start of the game, just my whole goal is just not to get hit. The other popular options they have is like just bar slash round stark, so it'll catch you, right? Um, that same thing, I'm pretty sure you can't car a Potemkin Buster here. Yeah, no, you can't car a Potemkin Buster. You can just get away, you can backdash, but yeah, same thing. Backdashing is scary because they often do the Behemoth Typhoon that will catch your backdash by delaying it slightly. So it's scary. Those are the two popular options. They sometimes go for a sweep. Just know you can just back up. There's not a single option you can do to hit your or uh, to hit the ground that's close enough. So just back up. You don't have to crouch block. So this way you, you'll either back up and dodge what they're doing, or you'll uh, have to block whatever they did, right? But in the same state, you you get space. That's what you want. But Demkin wins this matchup in neutral because he has better space control than Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis doesn't have very many buttons that go very far besides his 6H. His 6H is like his one button, but like we showed you earlier, I showed you earlier. It's negative 14, S, and it's very easy to punish because if you can just, just block it, then get whatever. Obviously, you can whiff punish it, so there's that too. Pretty much this whole matchup is just whiff punishing, by the way. That's all I'll do. If you go look at any of my matches against Gold Lewis, I just play at this range and whiff punish him or slash hit him on block all day. I just play mind games with him. I'll just do this solely and just, you know, like, I just play outside his range and bully the fuck out of him. That's how you win this matchup. The second you get knocked down is when you lose. But that same reasoning is why they jump so much. Go lose his jump all the time we talked about. It. So Kara, Heat Knuckle is very important. That's because they're scared of all your long range buttons. That is why they're jumping so much. And he has very good jump buttons. So remember, 6P jabs when you want to anti-air or just throw these out on reads, right? So essentially what I was trying to tell you is that as long as you get past round start, Without getting knocked down, your the matchup is now in your favor. This matchup, again, I will say this during this patch, is in Potemkin's favor. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of you pop mains disagree with me, but I'm trying to show you why I think so. Because, yeah, you can just bully the fuck out of this boy. He can't do anything. You have, you have great anti-airs to deal with him. You have long-range buttons. You might be slow, but he's slow too. It's finally a matchup where he can't rush you down too fast. He, well, he can rush you down by getting knocked down, but... He can't just outspeed your normals, so it's hard for him to whiff punish you. So, you can throw out your big normals. I use 6H all the time. And hey, then they get pushed back, I get more stage control. Oh, by the way, you can flick the gun. If you're going to get chipped to death, they tend to use gun a lot. And also, gun pretty much gets them in. So, they don't use gun like crazy, but to chip you out, they'll try to use gun. You can flick it, and then you can just FD block. If you don't want to get chipped out, because you don't have to deal with most of the bullets. And you get a punish every time. Even even if they're not level 3. Level 1, you'll still get a punish. So yeah. Just just know that. Also, just like Axel or all the other matchups, you can uh, get counter hit or a Mega Fist. So 
I've showed this before. You jump forward, then car. Oh, I fucked up. If you jump forward from full screen, then car mega fist. That's like mat max range of your car mega fist. But because Goldos is so big, you you can actually do it a little bit farther away than other characters. Thus, if you see this, you'll usually get the hit there, right? And you go into sweep if it's really meaty. Okay, last tip I got is the same tip as I have against Nagaryuki. Because Gold Lewis cannot double jump, Garuda Pressure is even scarier than most characters. So, with Garuda Pressure, you can just spam Garudas because jump's more of a risk for Gold Lewis. Now, you can jump Dash, who has a little bit more airway than Nagaryuki does. But you just spam this, and the second you see them jump, you can just RC and then punish him for jumping. Either by jump grabbing or doing 6P. Heat Knuckle, I recommend 6P, I wouldn't recommend Heat Knuckle. He doesn't jump very high up, so if he does, like, jump in the air, he's gonna go do this, right? And that will probably hit your your uh, Heat Knuckle. But yeah, Garuda pressure in the corner is very good if you have one bar. Just spam Garuda, spam Kara Garuda till he jumps. It You'll get a lot of mileage out of it. It's pretty much bullying, to be honest with you. Alright, uh, that does it for my uh, Gold Lewis tutorial. I know a lot of the stuff I showed doesn't make that much sense when it's not a real game, but hey... Hopefully you learned something from this. I don't find this matchup too hard. You can, Again, if you get knocked down, you can lose. But as Potemkin, you should be in a spot where being knocked down is very unlikely. If you guys have any tips that I didn't mention, you can leave them down in the comments. I'll help people out. Also, if you want to see other character tutorials, it'll be at my end screen. It's one of the playlists that you can click. So check them out. Have a good one.